Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Reeling. I'm a bioscientist by training, and we're just going to give you a brief rundown of the science centres, have a look at some of the facilities you'll get to use if you come to us as an undergraduate student. We start here in our specialist area, and this behind me is a scanning electron microscope. Um, state of the art, good hands on experience if you do your projects that way, and at the moment we're looking at some air pollution work. Now this is mainly the SEM preparation room but as we as we leave this little suite I'll briefly point out some of the other specialist equipment and um, tend to be used in undergraduate projects. So we have a x-ray diffraction and um, definitely some of the medical and drug type stuff we'll be using that as part of the developmental stuff and as we go towards the the main room uh, an NMR. Again uh, traditional chemistry type approach but now the traditional boundaries are blurred so used all over the uh, sciences and again if your project's in that area you will get the the training and skills you need to be able to work this and do your research based project in your final year as we leave this specialist suite of rooms um, we're going to have a look at some of the other equipment but what we won't look at is the roof it's quite nice up there you get nice views and the only reason i mention it now under the specialist equipment it has a lot of growth facilities there for any plant-based work, any of that material, and also used by people working with any outside work where they need environmental samples in the real world. Um, be that, again, forensic type applications, breeding disease organisms, things which need that. that. And the roof is, is nice, but we won't be going on there. But just to mention another set of specialist facilities that you get your hands on within Staffordshire University. We're now entering one of the specialist suites of the Science Centre for the more general teaching of the biological sciences you can see as we've come through the door. And past that door, this is where we now become professional. Um, you put all of your normal baggage in there, your bags, your coats and that, you put your lab coat on. And here, this is completely aseptic technique. Irrespective of COVID, this is what we always do. So it's as professional as we can. So you come in here, you get prepared for the laboratory work, and then you enter the teaching space, the laboratories. We have a number of them all fairly similar to this and this is where you'll spend a lot of your first and second year. This one is the human physiology, human fluids lab mainly. So it has some specialist equipment for human physiology. This room has the gene sequencer. If you've heard the word genomics, DNA fingerprinting, genetic profiling, anything like that, that is the sort of state of the art machine which does it now. Um, these are the, the things which drive it, but that actually runs your DNA fingerprint, your gene sequencer. And like all the equipment, it's part of your education, part of your training to get the hands-on material while you're with us. The stuff we use in our labs are the sort of stuff you'll use when you leave us and become a bioscientist in, in the real world. We have um, an insectary similar size for breeding, mainly at the moment mosquitoes. We do a lot of work with disease carrying and mosquitoes. We have decomposition room for, for work like that, pollution room, cell culture room. Again, cell culture, major part of modern day biology. And here you get your hands on human cell lines if, if you need to, to actually do work with the sort of material which the outside world are using. We also have video screens in all the labs and they're all linked up to various uh, pieces of equipment so that if anything's been talked about or demonstrated or we're trying to get you to see how the equipment's working, everybody can see it. And we've now ended up on the top floor of the Science Centre. So we've we started at the bottom and we're now on floor three of, of a dedicated um, facility just for the sciences at Staffordshire University. And this is the an more analytical side of things. So in this laboratory, you'd be looking at anything really which needs to be detected, be that things in blood, drugs, toxins, environmental samples from soil or anything of that nature. This is state-of-the-art equipment for detecting very very small amounts of everything and we also run this as a consultancy so this is the, what the outside world needs and as i've said before this is also what you get your hands on this is the training and education so that when you leave us as a scientist as a bioscientist in this case you actually know how the equipment works in the real world 